Hey, it's EU, it's Everyday Ultraman, and look at this. I have bought something really cool and interesting. Ooh, okay, very nice. Um, clearly, as you can see, it's not brand new. I bought it second hand, but apparently it works really well. So let's hope that it does work really good. Basically, it's a beta spark. I mean, if the title and the video thumbnail was not obvious enough, it's the Ultraman beta spark, something that I've always wanted to have. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm so excited guys. And honestly, this was a bit pricey. It was a bit expensive in my opinion. But yet again, it looked really, really good on the advert. So I'm like, okay, it's definitely worth it. But um, I hope it's worth the price, you know? So yeah, let's just look at the box. As you can see, we got a big shiny B here. This shiny B here stands for the beta spark, obviously. And this is the enhanced version 2.0. As you can see, limited edition 220. Designed by Singap. Singapore <laughs> I'm guessing it's supposed to be Singapore but there's a space there made in Earth Tiangong manufacturing wow so yeah, as you can see it's not the original um, Ultra Bandai series but instead it's just like the one the the spark lens I had which is the fake one but a really good fake one so yeah I'm not sure what that's it maybe this is the company that made it very nice sleek box but you can close it permanently all the way so I'm not sure what's wrong with that and the back here is uh, some Mandarin Chinese writing so I, I can't speak any of that so I can't don't know what it says but yeah that's the box plain and simple guys let's just open it up Ooh, there you have it guys Ooh, there you have it guys the guy said it was second hand but it feels like new because you know you know it's very definitely very still good condition and it's as if it's new so here we got a key being because i'm guessing it doesn't use batteries which sucks that means you have to charge it first so let's get the toy out so yeah, that's it for the box so let's put the box at the background put it like this and here you have it guys the beta spark Woo, guys this is so beautiful let's just put this here wow Oh my god, guys, look at this. Look at, oh, it's a bit, uh, you know, there's some stuff here, but yeah, wow. Look at this. Look at this big, beautiful. Wow, guys. Yet again, um, the design for the Beta Spark has always been this simple in design, because yet again, it's the first classic Ultraman, so design has always been simple and nice. But even though it's simple and nice, guys, it looks very, very beautiful. Oh my god, it looks sex so sexy. Wow. See, that's the button. Nice button indeed. And you can see it's made from like glass. So it doesn't feel cheap. I'm pretty sure the original Bandai one is also made from the same material. So yeah, maybe this is the same thing. It's just not branded as Bandai. As you can see, the inside, they just put like foils to make it. I don't know why, but I guess to make. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guys, I didn't press anything. So, I, well, it magically turns on by itself. <laughs> I'm not sure. But as you can see at the back here is the speakers. So the speakers will be here. So uh, there's no on and off button. So yeah guys, as you can see, it's not a paint job I think. I think this is just the marbling color itself. So yeah, and here you got a really nice clear glass inside. Again, I don't know what the hell it's made of, but yeah, here it is. Very beautiful. And the moment of truth when you press it. Wow. It's not that heavy, it's kind of light. But yeah. Let's test it in the dark. Mm. So as you can see, it's really, really bright, guys. If you could like close the lights and everything, Look in, look in, it's completely dark, but when you press it, wow, it's just very, very light. So you can tell the light is very strong, guys. It's very strong and very bright. Oh, okay, the battery's finished. <laughs> so, as you can see, the battery's finished, so I can't do it anymore. But I'm curious, where do you charge it? So we got a battery here, so. Mm. Oh, there you go. So 
so here you go guys here's the light and here's what it looks like but i'm guessing you charge it like this um ta -da. so i'm guessing you just charge it here and then maybe an hour will be enough to get it. clearly mine's finished better already so i can't do that but yeah once you charge it so every time it finishes batteries you just have to charge it but honestly i would i would love it if they use batteries instead of a charger but you know can't complain so here it is here's the stand stand is just plain and simple it's just i think it's just like glass acrylic maybe so how you make the stand is like this Ta-da! look at this very beautiful <laughs> very beautiful indeed honestly the real bandai thing costs like around five times the price so this one was around 100 ringgit and the, the bandai one costs like 1000 ringgit so this is actually 10 times cheaper but i honestly guys i have to say the quality is just more or less the same really really good it's just like my just like my Dyna sparklands even though it's not original bandai but the quality is literally the same guys and it was far far cheaper so yeah this is the same concept of course it's not original but it's still beautiful and good like the original so yeah guys i'm really happy that i bought this really good really good um yeah and if you got the chance you know who get it okay guys um that's it for this video it's been everyday ultraman and thank you for watching bye Instant garlic bread. No, instant mushroom soup.